So, hello and welcome to lesson 11 in our studio of optimization 1. So, in this video, we'll talk about line set techniques by curve fitting. Okay. Alright. So, we've been discussing ways to find the local minimum of functions. We've been discussing the three-point search method, the Fibonacci search method, the Golden ratio. And, but another way of locating the minimum value of a unimodal function f is to fit a polynomial p to the function f and locate the minimum of the polynomial. So we have two algorithms um, like the Powell's algorithm and the Davis, Swam, and Campy, the DAC algorithm. They are all concerned with fitting of a quadratic polynomial to three points okay so let's learn how to derive that okay so suppose that the quadratic polynomial k of x is equal to a naught plus a one x plus a two s squared where a is positive that means a naught is positive a one is positive and a two is also positive and they have an a2 so a2 should not be zero okay and they have this property okay where sl xc and xr they are points but xl is less than xc and xc is less than what xr okay so, in order to locate the minimum of Q, we have to determine Q prime of x equals 0. You know, that is a necessary condition when we are asked to optimize any um, um, variable, which is single variable. When you have a single variable, what we do is that we first find the first derivative, right? And that is a necessary condition, and we create it to 0. So, Q of x is equal to a naught plus a one x plus a two x squared. So Q prime of x will be when we differentiate whatever is here, we'll get a one plus two a two x equals zero. Then finally we'll have a one plus two a two x equals zero. So solving for x, we are going to have x to be equal to negative a one over two a two. So now we need to find a1 and a2 so that we can make substitution into this relation then we are done okay all right so we had k of x to be equal to a naught plus a1 x plus a2 x squared but know that we said that it has these properties k of x l is equal to f of what x l that means q of x is equal to f of x. So f of x can also be written as a naught plus a one x plus a two x squared. And finding f of x l, f of x c, f of x r means wherever you find x, you put them there. So for instance, f of x l, wherever you find x, we put x l there. So this gives us f of x l. Then we get this for f of x c, and this for f of x r. Okay, so after having these equations, we can write them in this form, right? Then our unknowns are a naught, a one, and a two, but we don't need a naught for anything here because we had x equal to minus a one over two a two. So that means we have to compute a one and a two. We have to know what they are. So we use the Kramer's rule, right, to find a1 and a2, and using the Kramer's rule, we first have to find the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So we are letting the determinant of the coefficient matrix to be delta, okay. So in finding for a1, it will be the determinant of this system except that 
because a1 is in the middle we will take whatever is here and replace it with this so now you can see here so determinant of 1 1 1 f of xl f of xc f of xr and then xl squared sc squared xr squared all over the determinants of the matrix and coefficient matrix which we are denoting by delta so that means we have to work on this So working on this, the determinant of this, you no, know, so when we have plus, minus, plus here, so we are going to have this here, and when we try simplifying that, you are going to have this here. So you can pause the video and do that yourself. Then making some rearrangement will give us this okay so that means that our a1 will be equal to this over delta you know that delta is the determinant of the coefficient measures so now we have a1 the next thing is for us to find our a2 and with a2 we are going to find the determinant of this all over the determinants of the coefficient matrix which are representing with delta so if you don't understand how we are using the equation rule to solve this i would advise you to watch videos on that okay and there are videos on that on this channel on the equation rule so you can do that so you understand why we are doing all these so now considering that this one right you have to find the determinant of that. So that is given by this here. Then when we try simplifying, we get this. And making rearrangement will give us this. So that means that our A2 will be equal to whatever we can see here. But note that we had x is equal to negative A1 over 2A2. And you see, A1 has a denominator of delta. A2 also has a denominator of what? Delta. So you can see that as they divide, they will cancel out. Okay, so that's the reason why there was no need to even compute for that. And we just represented, represented that with delta. So that's what I've written here. That note that delta will cancel out. So that means that now negative S will be negative A1 over 2A2. And that will be this. So we just make substitution, we get this. Okay. Then when we have this, we can decide to divide you by negative one. And that can also give us this here. Okay, so um when we use three point to um approximate uh do our approximation, we'll have our extra the maximizer um or the optimizer to be given by what we can see here okay and this proof is very important you should take very good note of it okay so it is from these that we can apply them in the powers algorithm and in the dsc algorithm so that's all for this video thank you very much and see you in the next video